Dear ladies and gentlemen, dear colleague, it is great honor for me to present here in Eugene the phase 1B study of IMU131, a HER2 targeting B cell vaccine called HERX. As it is well known, HER2 is overexpressed in 15 to 25 percent of gastric cancer cases and is associated with a worse prognosis, more aggressive disease, and purer survival. The addition of monoclonal antibodies against HER2 receptor to standard of care chemotherapy showed significant benefit over the chemo alone. But unfortunately, trastuzumab is not available everywhere, is costly, and also is associated with a serious side effects. All these facts underline the importance of new treatment options for gastric cancer patients with hair positive disease. So IMU131 is a therapeutic B-cell peptide vaccine composed of three epitop peptide sequences uh, selected from the extracellular domain of HER2 receptor, conjugated with CRM197 and emulsified with montanide. Polyclonal antibodies against IMU131 binds three separate regions of HER2 receptor, preventing dimerization, which in turn inhibits intracellular signaling pathways. So uh, IMU131 attacks the same target as the cancer drug Herceptin. Now let me introduce study design uh, endpoints and results. This phase 1b is an open label dose escalation study in HER2 overexpressing tumors, uh, gastric or gastroesophageal junction adenocarcinomas performed in 14 Asian and Eastern European countries. 14 patients have been involved in this study with advanced and metastatic states of disease, seven of them with uh, HER2 3 plus, three HER2 2 plus, so 10 overexpressing tumors we had, and four with HER2 2 plus expressing tumors. The age range was from 22 to 79, 9 Asian, 5 Caucasian, 5 female, 9 male, with zero or one ECOG status. Uh, study have been designed to access safety, tolerability, and recommended phase two dose of IMU-131 in combination with standard of care chemotherapy, such as, as you know, uh, chemo, cisplatin, and either 5-fluorouracin or capsitabin. Each patient have been administrated with three dose of vaccine on days zero, 14 and 35, um, in accompanying with chemotherapy cycles every 21 days starting from day 14. So in results, no safety or toxicity issues. All patients had increased antibody response, and according to resist criteria, we had one complete response, five um, partial response for stable disease, and unfortunately only one patient progressed during the treatment. Um, uh, vaccine showed well tolerability and safety. 10 patients had 18 serious adverse events, but no SAEs related to IMU-131, just one mild injection site reaction and no significant left ventricular ejection fraction changes of or heart failures. So as you can see at the picture, the 50 microgram dose produced the most consistent anti-peptide and anti-heart 2 specific antibodies compared to 10 and 30 microgram of those and uh, almost in all cases we had reduction in tumor size uh, from the baseline um, and now let me take your attention on the patients who received the dose 50 microgram of this vaccine because it is the recommended phase two dose uh, two or three of these patients um, uh, reduced tumor size from baseline on day 56 more than 40 percent and all three patients completed their 266 day with one partial response, one stable disease, and one progression. And this partial response 
uh, you can see uh, from basal line, this patient um, has a reduction tumor from 177 millimeters to 37 millimeter, which is 80% in reduction. So, in conclusion, the preliminary immunology and clinical response data are really promising. Safety data indicates that IMU-131 is well tolerated with no significant local or systemic reactions. There were no dose limited toxicities observed, no significant injection site reactions, and no vaccine related SAEs. Preliminary response data demonstrate that 50 microgram of IMO-131 was well tolerated, and this dose will be used in the phase two. Thank you very much for your Thank question. you very much.